Hello, I want to show you how you can use a gaming tool, a gaming eye tracker, to control the mouse, uh, move the cursor around on your screen without actually having to use the mouse. So the tool that I am using is the Toby Eye Tracker Peripheral, which you can get on Amazon for $150. It's built and meant for you to use while gaming so that you can aim while shooting or move your characters around by looking at different places on the screen, but I'll show you how to use it as a mouse. There are other tools meant to be able to help you move the cursor around without having to use a mouse. Um, a couple examples are you can use Microsoft, um, with Microsoft Windows 10, you can use the number pad to actually move the cursor around. There are things such as camera mouse, which rather than being an eye tracker are a head tracker. So they use your webcam to see how you move parts of um, a specific part of your face. So you can move your head from side to side to move the cursor around on the monitor. I personally am not a fan of it. Um, first, it's annoying when the cursor moves just as you happen to be moving your head around normally. But then if you want to move the cursor from one side of the screen all the way to the other, you have to make really exaggerated head movements that will start to get very annoying. There's also tools out there that are specifically meant to let you use your eyes to move the mouse cursor around, um, such as this one here, but they're very expensive. Um, this one here is $1,700. I've seen others that cost a lot more. I haven't tried them out. I don't know how good they are. Um, but they do tend to also come with software that is specifically supposed to help you more easily use your eyes um, as a replacement for your mouse. That being said, I am using the Toby Eye Tracker Gaming Peripheral, which as you can see is a lot less expensive and I've found, while not working perfectly, does work very well. So there are a few things that I want to go over. Um, first, just at a high level, how it works. Um, the software that comes with this is fairly limited since it's not meant to be used with a computer. But what it does is it lets you pick a specific key on your keyboard, and when you press that key, it'll move the cursor to wherever you're looking. So I have I have it set up that when I hit the F3 key, it will move the cursor around. So as I look around to different parts of my monitor here, I then hit the F3 key, and you can see that it just places the cursor wherever I happen to be looking. It also actually lets you search through open applications more easily. So usually you can switch through applications by hitting Alt-Tab, and then as each time you hit tab, it scrolls to different applications. Um, one thing that the eye tracker actually does is if you hit alt tab, you can just look at what application you want to have open and it will open it and it will just select that one for you and click it. So I can go straight from looking at a Word document to now looking at a task manager or looking at Amazon again. And when I click, when I let go of alt, it just automatically opens that up. If you only use one or two programs, it's not going to be that useful. But if you tend to be someone who keeps 10 or 20 programs open at a time, it can be very, very useful to do that. Um, something else I want to show you is how you can use it with auto hotkey. So as I mentioned, the program is pretty limited. Um, that comes with Toby. It lets you move the cursor around by pressing a button, in my case, F3, and it just moves the cursor wherever you want to go. But it doesn't let you do things like right click or left click or double click. So to do that, I use a program called Auto Hotkey. Auto Hotkey can do a lot, but one thing that it lets you do is it lets you reprogram the keys on your keyboard. And what I've done is I've set it so that if I do something like hit F4, it'll do a right click with the mouse. If I hit F2, it will do a left click with the mouse. And similarly, if I hit F2 twice, it'll double click. If I hit um, Alt F2, so an exclamation point signifies Alt, then it'll hold down a left click, and when I hit Alt F4, it will release that left click. So that's useful if you want to click and drag. Um, so again, I can hit F3 to move the cursor to wherever I'm looking, and then if I double click, it'll highlight it. I can also triple click, um, or I can right click to pull something up. Other things that I wanted to show you. Um, so it can be combined with speech recognition. I'm not going to show you that here because I don't actually use speech recognition that often. But if you not only want to not use a mouse, but you'd like to not use a computer, um, you can use speech recognition technology to be able to do that. The way that I have it set up, for example, if I used Windows speech recognition tool, and if I turn that on right now, I can say press F3 into my microphone, and it will act as if I'm clicking the F3, and it will move the cursor to wherever I'm looking. Or I can say press F2, and then it would left click wherever the cursor is at that point in time. Um, if I did that, I don't know if I can double click by saying press F2 twice or not. So what I instead might do is I might um, take auto hotkey and change another button that I rarely use. 
and signify that to be a double click. So if I made F1 a double click, then I could say press F1 and it would double click wherever my mouse happened to be. There are some drawbacks to the tool. So first, it's not exceptionally accurate with where you want to click. Um, I'd say if you calibrate it, um, calibration takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, it's usually within about a centimeter. So wherever you're looking, um, if you hit F3, it'll place the cursor within about a centimeter of where you are looking. Oftentimes, it'll be wrong in a very consistent way. So if you want to click, say, on the numbering, um, and it's just off by a little bit, so it's always a little bit to the right, you might look just slightly to the left of where you want to click so that it's over the button that you want. Another thing that you might want to do and that I've done is you can increase the size of images on your screen so that if it's not placing the cursor exactly where you want, you have a little bit more room for error there. So what you can do is you can right click on your desktop, go to display settings, pick the monitor that you're using, um, and then go to change the size, text, apps, and other items. You can see I've increased it by about 50%, uh, by exactly 50%. Um, it means I can fit fewer things on my screen, but everything that's on my screen is bigger, so that if I'm trying to put my mouse over something, a button to click it, I'm more likely to hit it, even if it's not placing it exactly where I want to. Some other issues with it. Um, so with auto hotkey, as I mentioned, to right click and left click, there are a few programs that seem to override it. Um, so I might be able to still move my cursor around, but then when I go to click on it, the clicks don't work. It's very rare that it happens, but there are a few programs that do this. Um, and in those cases, you still have to use a mouse to make those clicks. But I'd say that that only happens very rarely. And I'm able to use kind of this setup that I have here 95% of the time when I would otherwise be using a mouse. Um, another issue is head placement. So just with eye tracking software, you have to be in a wet place where the eye tracking software is able to accurately tell where you're looking at a screen. So that usually means keeping your head towards the middle of your monitor about an arm's length away. You can move about a foot forward or a foot backwards from there and a few inches side to side. Um, but if, for example, you're working at your computer and then you just decide to kind of lean back and recline a lot, it may no longer be able to detect your eyes as accurately. So that's a you know minor setback of at least the eye tracker that I am using. It can also be annoying to click and drag and to do that as accurately as when you're using a mouse. So to give you an example, if I want to place a um, square, let's say, somewhere in this document, so I have it placed down here, to click and drag, as I mentioned, I've set up my auto hotkey so that if I hit Alt F2, it'll hold down a left click. So I just press that, and now as I move the cursor around by looking in different parts of the screen and hitting F3, it moves this item around with it. But because it's not a especially accurate um, way to click and drop, if you really, really need to get something exactly in one place, it can be a little challenging to place it where you want. Um, if I hit Alt F4 to let go of it now, um, that works. But then also if you want to resize it, you know, it can be challenging to, you have to put the cursor kind of exactly on a corner to be able to resize a corner. So it can be a little challenging to get it exactly where you want. And then even once you highlight it and I hit F2 to do a left click, um, you move the mouse around to resize it. But again, if you need to get very particular with the shape that you want here, um, it can be hard because placing the cursor isn't always perfectly accurate. Um, so now let me just get rid of that. Um, one other minor setback is that you can only use one monitor with it. So the at least the eye tracker that I bought, and I believe this is the case for other ones as well, um, they only work with a single monitor. So if like me, you like to have, you know, two or three or four monitors in use at once, you're not going to be able to do that while you're using the eye tracker as a mouse. Um, and that can certainly be a limitation. But again, overall, um, I think this is actually very, very helpful, especially if you're someone like me who has some medical issues. Um, I'm very susceptible to repetitive motion injuries, so I can't use a mouse for very long. Being able to use an eye tracker to move the cursor around instead of um, having to move the mouse around with my hand uh, lets me use a computer much more than I would otherwise be able to. Um, if you have other similar types of issues, you might find this very helpful. It can also be useful for people who mostly just work at a keyboard and don't have to use the mouse very often. If you just want to keep your hands on a keyboard, you can do that this way without having to kind of move your hand to the side to use a mouse. I know a lot of people who do coding who, you know, 
don't like to have to take their hands off the keyboard to use a mouse. They'll use a lot of shortcuts, but you can't do everything with keyboard shortcuts. Um, you still need to use a mouse for some things. This will help a lot with that. If, however, you really need to use a mouse a lot in your job, um, say you're doing graphic design and things like that, this may not work uh, especially well for you. It may not quite be accurate enough with where it places things and you might find it a little bit frustrating. Anyway, I hope this showed you a little bit about how you can use an eye tracker to be able to control your computer and move the mouse cursor around without having to use a mouse itself. And hopefully you found it very helpful. Thank you very much.